What's up? You see that arm? You see that shit? Okay, I don't know why I'm starting this video like this. Okay, people. Ah, what's up? This is somewhat of a strange video, okay? I mean, this is a fitness channel, a lifestyle channel. Where do I start? Okay, so, there's just been a lot of stuff. Well, I've seen a lot of stuff on the internet. It started with Casey Neistat's video, where he had a Marine, I think it was a Marine, on the channel, he was speaking about what the benefits are of waking up at 4 a.m. in the morning. And then it led on, and I had a friend of mine, Mike Diamonds, he got a viral video, and it was, waking up at 5 a.m. every morning changed my life. So I'm like, hmm, what's all this 5 a.m. business? Let me get a taste. So, we're gonna jump back a week prior to right now, where it all started. <sighs> very random, very strange. It is 11.23 on a Thursday morning. And um, I'm optimistic. I've been coming across a lot of videos on YouTube that's saying, waking up at 5 a.m. changes your life. So for the next seven days, I, Glenn Gillen, would rise from the bed every day at 5 a.m. and see if it changes my life. Okay, so Thursday before this challenge, you can call it. I think the first step is to set our alarm for the week. Now we need a sound that is annoying as shit. That's annoying as shit. We're gonna use that one. Start from tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Damn. And set. There we have it, people. We set for the week, let's do this. Okay, so day one, I was tired, man, but I was hyped. I was hyped to get up at 5 a.m., make these life games, be a successful entrepreneur in a week. Uh, 5.07, and yeah, we got four and a half hours sleep. Not ideal, but I'm up. I am gonna get started on my work now. Let's see where the day takes me. 7.43, and I find myself in my car, ready to go to the gym. Two hours of work done, shit's moving good. 7.52, and this right here is just something you don't get waking up at 9 a.m. That shit is beautiful. Day two, um, like the reality hit me, I was tired, man. I was tired. <laughs> I was like, why am I waking up so early? I'm questioning shit. My pillow looks real nice right now. Real nice. Come here, baby. But I got up. I done my best to get as much as I could done before sunrise. And keep the hype train rolling. Day two. Um, I got a little bit more sleep last night. I fell asleep at half ten. It's only 5.40. And I'm up, I'm editing, I'm getting stuff done. A lot more productive than yesterday morning. But the reason I failed so ahead of the curve right now is because it's Saturday morning. So I'm up at 5 a.m. on a Saturday morning working. It is 20 past two. I feel good. I'm just back from the second weight training session on this 5 a.m. buzz. I also had no caffeine today. So we're running off nothing but glute power. I do feel more productive though. I feel more alive. Ugh. It's been 10 minutes. I just crashed, like bad. I need some caffeine or else some sleep. I think I'm gonna pick some caffeine. Day three, I don't think I filmed anything, but I can remember. Day three, Sunday morning, it is 9.44. And I officially have every single one of my client check-ins done. So usually I get up about half nine, 10. I get breakfast, then I sit down, either start them then and then train or else wait train and then start client check-ins but this now means I have the whole Sunday to chill. Um, I did get a better night's sleep. I noticed I was falling asleep a little earlier, a more reasonable time, a time that you actually want to sleep at which is about 10 p.m. You see that people? You see that time? Do you see? I mean any time after 10 p.m. you're either just chilling on Netflix, you're watching videos. You know what I'm talking about man. You know what we do. <laughs> oh shit. But it's usually unproductive from that point on. So I was happy that I could actually fall asleep at 10 because I was always struggling to fall asleep before midnight beforehand. Day four, I remember I woke up early. I was a little bit tired, but I got a good night's sleep. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get as much as I can done before sunrise. Yeah, I've trained, done cardio and abs. It's only 7.54. So I'm gonna get some breakfast, get the day started, man. We be productive. <sighs> 9 a.m. 
Man has done his online work. I've been to the gym, done cardio and abs. I have planned out the day. I've been to the stove. Pick up some monster, some caffeine. And um, what else did I do? Oh, I dropped my nephew to school. Oh, day five and six. I don't think I filmed anything. Don't think I filmed anything on day five and six, but the conclusions were already made. I just did stretch it out a week just so I could title this video. Waking up at 5 a.m. for a week. And day seven, here we are. I mean, I do feel really good about myself waking up early. It's already 10.49, I have every single bit of work I had to do today done. Benefits that I think are actually real and do occur is you are more productive, but you need something to be productive with. If you're the type of person who just works a nine to five and before that, you probably just watch TV. Why would you wake up at 5 a.m. just to watch TV? I mean, if you're a businessman or someone trying to run a business, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a businessman, but I'm someone that's trying to build a business, so, in the morning, dedicating a huge chunk when there's complete isolation from just any outside interactions or outside distractions, yeah, it, it helps, it does, it helps. Would I, would I recommend waking up at 5 a.m.? If it's for you, give it a shot. The reason I'm really happy about waking up at 5 a.m. is because it's winter and I live in Ireland and it gets dark hella early. So if I wake up early, I'm well up and ready to go. By sunrise, I have all the work done. I can get the day started from sunrise to sundown. So whatever I get done, maybe vlogging a video or anything else for YouTube, it just gives me that chunk of time with daylight that I can get shit done. It's something that could potentially improve your life and if that is the case then I'm glad that I could recommend you to do try it. Listen, I'm gonna issue a challenge, okay? If you're watching this video and you were like me, I was waking up a little bit late, like half nine, 10. By the time I got breakfast and trained, it was 2 p.m. Then I might have to get a little bit of online work done. It's 4 p.m. I might have a video to film. I have to edit that video after I film it. By the time I've finished everything that day, it's like 9, 10 p.m. And that is just because the amount of outside distractions that happen that you don't realize happen is insane. It's just good. Plus, you feel good about yourself waking up before everyone else. It's like a placebo effect. And that's it people, that was my week of waking up at 5 a.m. Will I continue to do it? Probably not. I think for me, waking up at about six, half six will be just perfect. I'll get everything done by 10, 11 p.m. Go and train, back by two, boom! Enjoy the rest of the day. And yeah, people, fun experiment. I know I didn't film as much as I wanted to film throughout the days, but that's just me being an idiot. Waking up at 5 a.m., did it change my life? No. Did I learn about myself and what will be optimal for me? Yes. So, and that's my call, people. I'm out. Smart, loyal, very sexy. In the next one. I'm sorry. 93, I even got it tatted on me. 2012, lady, I don't feel sorry. And you know me. Without teeth, it probably would be no.